I wiped my face with my bottom yesterday. I didn't mean to, it was an accident, eh? First I dried my bottom, and then I dried my face. Well, a 50-50 chance, I guess, that my bottom germs upon my face did press. And the worst thing is I realised last week that I could keep my face fecal free if I would only check the label. Keep it at the top left and dry my bottom. Put it at the bottom left and dry my face. But I did not. Time after time I forgot. And I don't want to check the labels. There are labels everywhere telling us all the earth destroying stuff they're putting in our hair, products and our food. I don't want to spend my life in the supermarket aisle making sure there's not microbead laced dolphin brains basted in palm oil in my slave plantation chocolate. I don't have time for this. I have a life, kids and a wife, climate change to address and marriages to bless. Because if I have to check the labels, then you have to check the labels. You and you and all of you. No way. I want a government with grit to just stop it. To say no more snow peas coming in from far away. To say microbeads, no way, not in Australia. No, we say. In fact, not on this earth and not on this planet. Just ban the things. God demands it. And why do we still have battery eggs? I was a baby when people started to object to the poultry penitentiaries and the cutting off of beaks. And why is it cheaper to buy mistreated meat? There should be a fine or we should just completely ban it. No more cage eggs and barn eggs and free range eggs, just eggs. It's not so weird to insist that we all desist. Fair trade clothes and coffee. Well, forget that. All trade should be fair, as a matter of fact. Aren't we all created equal, or perhaps evolved? We don't need more labels. We need these problems solved. Now, I guess that sounded angry, but I'm at a bit of a loss. And when confronted by injustice, even Jesus got quite cross kicking over the tables of the parasitic rich like Clancy of the Overflow with his great big whip, saying, brood of vipers, whitewashed tombs and hypocrites. Now, that was really rude back then. It doesn't translate well, but something like, you horrible thieving parasites, I'll see you all in hell. Now, of course, that led to his murder, or so the stories tell, but if you believe in resurrection, you can be brave as well. I'm not so sure. I suspect it's naive and dumb to think that we could ever get these problems won. I mean, when has humanity ever globally got its act together? Well, apart from the ozone layer. And suffrage and emancipation and gay marriage and desegregation and public health care and education and recognition. I suppose there was the 40-hour week and apartheid and the Berlin Wall and national parks and cooperatives and the vote for all. There's a Gloucester to the south of me and Bentley to the north. There's a no loan for Adani, the people fought and won, and there's no new port in Newcastle. It looks like coal is done. So maybe after all, we will be able to move on from having to check each and every label. <laughs>